All right, here's what I'm working on now, putting these, uh, hood latches in. And man, measuring this and cutting that hole in there, that was a tedious process. Um, Cause on the hood, you have this, uh, this brace that goes across. So I had to cut into the brace in order to get, get it to sit all the way down. Um, so there's where the latch is going to go. I'm sorry, that not the latch, the, this thing. That's going to go up in there. So I'm thinking these are going to mount somewhere right here. After that's next. But the interesting part is going to be uh, securing these in here because they have. Uh, let's see. They have these backing plates. So you can see in the picture. The backing plate goes under the hood and that goes through the hood. So, in order to get this backing plate in there, I guess I'm going to have to cut a notch here and here so I can slide that through. Yeah, slide that through. And then probably drill some holes here and here so I can get a uh, wrench up in there to secure the uh, nuts onto the back of that. Not sure if it goes like that or the other way. But I'll get there. Um, it was interesting measuring. It's like 13 and a half inches to the center here. And I tried to get 13 and a half here, but it's like the from this part of the hood in to the bottom and this part of the hood into the top, the Firebird's not quite symmetrical. It's off by like eighth of an inch or a quarter of an inch. Um, measuring, like measuring to the top of this was like 13 and 7 eighths. And to the top of this was 13 and a half. Um, even, even though I, they're, they're centered. Uh, it's kind of complicating, but... Um, see, they're centered on the car, and it's it's centered uh, into the middle. But uh, man, it was really tough. It took like an hour of measuring and taking off the tape. And this one's in here really tight. I got this side really good. This one's a little got a little play in the back, but. And that's uh, really tricky getting those in there. But these are cool, you know. You press it, and it pops up. There's no hood pins to mess with, so you just pop them up and then raise the hood up. See how it works? There's like a spring mechanism and it's going to go through that red hook once I, or that loop once I put it in there, the whatever you call it, hook, loop. Um, anyway, these are really tough to install but they're cool as hell. Anyway, I'll uh, post uh, pictures when I'm done. show you the tools I used uh, to cut those holes. To get around the uh, turns um, and pretty close up to where the turns start, um, a Dremel tool works great. I, I went through about five of these cutoff wheels doing the two sides. And then once you get it uh, uh, cut, the Dremel tool actually cut out the whole top part. The bottom part, um, you can see this, it's a straight cut. I used a uh, cutoff wheel 
Oh, uh, where is it? There it is. This is the cutoff wheel. And then, uh, then to get everything cleaned up, use a uh, die grinder and just smooth out the edges. And, uh, because it won't, you know, the template is a little small. They send a template with the kit so you can draw on your hood. And of course, you, you undercut it just a little bit, and then you go back and you just clean up the edges, and it makes it the right size. Um, it took about an hour to do the uh, left and right side, an hour total. I probably spent as much time measuring to make sure I put them in the right place. But uh, anyway, here's my solution for the uh, backing plate. I just marked it's like some little wings here. I did it on both sides. I haven't tested this side yet, but the idea is that this will slide up in there, right like that. There we go. That's why the uh, the wings are there. So I'm gonna get my hand out of the way. There we go. So you can slide it, slide it in there. I needed some, needed some room to do that. This side, I cut a little more. Probably didn't need to cut that much. There we go. Now, here's a tricky part uh, that I noticed. So, see, right here, you have the hood metal, and then you have this metal under the hood. And then, like where this where this brace is, but then the brace stops. Like I'm trying to point up to it, the brace actually it curves and stops. So um, anyway, you don't you don't have brace right here. So let's see if I can get this. When I put this backing plate in. It's going to sit it'll sit flush right there where there's two pieces of metal, but then we got a gap. See back there. So I'm going to just cut um, a little bit of metal and shape it and, and just JB weld it right there. So it, uh, and I'll cut it the same thickness as this. So this has, you know, so it doesn't flex. It would probably, yeah. I don't want it to like flex up into the hood when I'm screwing it down. And that should do it. Gotta drill the holes, but uh, anyway, that's uh, that's what you gotta do. And I'm gonna, I'll touch this up and paint it, make it look pretty. Ooh, that's a sharp edge right there. Um, I'll make it look uh, a little prettier. Hit some black paint on it. Anyway, I'll post another video in a minute. Alright, I finally got them installed. And what a bitch. Installing these things is a pain in the ass. I actually I taped on the nuts so I could get everything on there a little better. Um, now, so they wouldn't fall off. There you go, I pulled off the tape, but... Man, one of those fell off back there, and I, and everything else was connected, and I just, like, tape the little nut to my finger, and then, like, balance it on my finger, and push it back up in there. It was a bitch. Um... But these were all installed. The only one I don't like is that one. It doesn't look like it's threaded in there much, but it's tight on the top, so I'm not going to touch it. This was, I mean, what a pain in the ass. They're really cool, but I'm talking royal pain in the ass to install these things. But look at that. Now I just got to put the uh, the hook in there. But 
that. That is custom. That is a, it's a really nice piece once it's installed, but I'm talking there's some there's some blood everywhere where it got the best of me. What a pain in the ass. Man, that was uh, that took hours to get those installed correctly. But man, they really look great. Those are some, those are by far the best looking uh, hood clips you can get. Pain in the ass. I hope I never have to do that again. Anyway, thanks for watching.